Welcome to Happy Place Aquatics. It's live stream on Sunday. I'll wait for some people to get here. I am a little early. It's going to be kind of a short stream, maybe. Don't know. I haven't determined that yet. I do know it is part two or night two of WrestleMania. I'm going to watch it because I watched it night one. You know, I'm uh, doing, trying, and trying to make this hobby, you know, transparent for everybody. So we're going to see what happens. So, like I said, I'll wait for some people to get here. you're watching welcome if you can hear me or watch the video let me know how it looks and sounds that would be great there's nobody watching obviously i guess so. i will put my live stream on my tv that way i can see it because i have a tv right there watch it change in the background And nobody's watching again. Great. Who am I up against tonight? I'm up against WrestleMania. That's one thing. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. A person doesn't even subscribe to their own channel. It's wild. I don't even know when I'm on. That's not right. I should definitely know when I'm I'm live streaming. Look at that. Look at that. Welcome. At least somebody showed up today. <laughs> Thank you, Red, for being here. How do I sound? Like I said, I am early. So it is what it is. Don't forget if you're watching, hit that uh, like button too. That helps a lot. So that would help if everybody would do that. <sighs> Got a fish making noise behind me. Don't know what's going on with that. Did a bunch of maintenance today. Uh, clean Miss Daisy's tank, clean Ludwig's tank, clean theirs. What's up, Tommy? Finishing up some plant project stuff and listening in. What kind of plant projects are we talking about? Anything you could share? I'd love to see it. Anything good? We all like good food. I had ham. My father-in-law was in the uh, hospital over Easter. That's why I didn't do a live stream on Easter because my father-in-law was sick and he was in the hospital. But uh, we ended up having Easter dinner today. So that's a good thing. Aquatic plants putting some back out in the plant pond for the spring and summer. I like chicken. Chicken's great. Depends on what where the chicken's from, though. I'm not a big KFC fan. However, if you live in the Northeast Ohio area, or you have a giant eagle grocery store, they make some good chicken. 
I'm definitely a chicken fan. What's going on, Scott? Welcome. Welcome. So, guys, I posted a video uh, last night. And then I posted one this morning or this afternoon, a little while ago, at a loss in the fish room. Uh, one of my large goldfish, his name was George. He was fine yesterday morning. I come downstairs and, I mean, he was gone. Uh Tested the water. Water was perfect. No ammonia, no nothing. I mean, it was perfect. So I don't know what happened. Uh, ended up doing a, I mean, stupid large water change at midnight last night. Uh, in a 300-gallon pond, I took it down to almost 100 gallons. So I did a large water change on it. Everybody's doing great today. No more losses. Uh, Friday night, I did lose a... Uh, one of my walru. Not happy about that, but the other ones are doing fine. Also dropped a short on my natural blue acara tank. It has got some plants in it, and there's more fish in it than there was before. So we're doing good there as well. But the one thing I don't see is anybody putting out the you know the bad stuff. Welcome, fish fam link. Nobody never posts the bad things about the hobby. You know, everybody always wants to post every all the sunshine and rainbows. But nobody talks about losing fish. You know, it's part of the hobby and people need to understand that it's part of the hobby. You got newcomers that are coming in that haven't kept fish before, you know. They're going to lose fish and they're going to they're going to get discouraged and we don't need that. This hobby is not growing, you know, at an alarming rate. So the more people we can get in, the more educated we can get them, and we can show them that that is, in fact, something that happens even to the most experienced fish keeper. You know, we can't help it how the fish come into us. We also can't help the fact that if a fish gets sick and dies, it's just something that we cannot control. Some things we can control, like the, you know, taking care of them, making sure they have clean water, you know, adequate filtration, adequate tank size for fish, you know. That's, that's things we need to stress and emphasize to these people that are coming in. You can't take and throw three Oscars in a 55-gallon tank and put an FX6 on it and say, oh, I don't have to do a water change. That FX6 is going to take care of it. It's not how it works. You, have to, you physically have to do the legwork. You know, if you do it and you do it right, you're going to, it's a rewarding hobby. Unless you get a fish like this one who's just, you know, a drama queen. But, you know, you got you got to put the work in. You, you have to. I mean, you you don't need to have as many fish tanks as, you know, as this person does or that person. You can do one fish tank and you can definitely, definitely maintain and handle one tank. Now, when you get into the 30s and 40s of tanks, then that's when things get a little, get a little, oh, excuse me, get a little sketchy. If anybody would like to join, I'm going to put the link right there uh oh we got this guy backstage what's up brandon oh hey hey look at that i put you up <sighs> can you hear me what did i hear you now what did you just say i said i put you up let's go hell yeah wrestlemania weekend going live ah it's gonna be kind of a short one mm -hmm. yep we, yeah. Fish Tube, need to do a fish university series. And people could actually graduate and get a fish keeping diploma. Don't steal my idea. I said it first. Just now. My baby. Tommy, I agree with you. We actually should get together as content creators and do like a class. <laughs> to teach the newcomers, you know, that are coming in. That's that's actually a great idea. You know, because all you see is the you see all the all the good. Nobody ever shows the bat. Like that video that I posted with my fish died, nobody ever posts that. You never see that. Like, oh, look, wow, my fish died. You know, nobody does that. You're like, oh, look at this. My fish are doing great after they done replaced that fish. Yeah. Yeah, I just post, like, in my regular, like, community posts on YouTube. Like, oh, I lost this fish, but I never, like, I hardly do, like, a video about it. Maybe I'll mention it. Like, if it's a significant fish, if it's, a, like, a little Serpe Tetra, it's like, oh, who cares? <laughs> Lost my 
one of my marble i lost my marble angel fish then i rehomed the blue zebra angel so i could get some tiger barbs i understand i just uh man i've got that tank full of natural blue acara that i had before i had 14 of them well now i have 40. oh jesus yeah uh welcome mike we mike. uh i went to the fish store and the owner my i work on my local fish store owner's cars his and his wife's um they had these tanks these two fish two different breeds of fish they had the uh red jewel cichlid and a natural blue acara in the same tank and these natural blue acara are you know peaceful fish but those jewels are not jewels are just i mean they're little they're little brats man and they were tearing these little guys apart well the next thing i know i'm talking to the owner and his wife hands me the whole bag and said take these with you i'm like man i should have taken them all off the back because i took i originally ordered them all i ordered 50 of them and he's like well if you don't want all of them i'll keep some of them i can sell them I should have just taken all 50 of them. Oh, man. Welcome, Danny. Nice to see you, bud. Danny, I lost a wall route, bud. Not happy about it. Silver I Creek. Let's see who else is here. We could do a full course and in-depth. We definitely can. I'd be a bad teacher. Well, you know. I see the tank behind you. You can't be too terrible of a teacher, so. Yeah. You yeah, just got to teach it. It's your ways. Yeah. I barely know what to do with the plants. Like, I just throw them in there, and I just pray. Welcome to Whistle. The Degenerate Fish Keeper. How are you a Degenerate Fish Keeper? And does that, does that fish have a... Oh, I thought that was a piece of pizza. That's a fish. I didn't look <laughs> at that again. I love that picture. That's awesome. You know, I, I've i read so much about on the internet about people putting fish that don't need to be there in a tank. Like an Oscar in a 55, that is like the bare minimum. A 55 I mean, gallon tanks, they're like so narrow too. Like, Yeah, they're not a, not a wide enough footprint. A 75 would be the minimum I would put a an Oscar in. Yeah. And it would have to be a single Oscar. I wouldn't put two in a 75. Their bio load is just, that's that's a massive bio load. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Danny, I lost just one. Just one. If I lose all of them again, I will never do them again. And I may actually just close this place down. I hey, seriously you may. You got to do the jingle. Look who's here. Gar, gar. Garcia Aquatics here. What's up, Birdo? Is it Birdo or Alberto? Alberto. Uh, hmm. I asked him the same thing. I even asked him if it was Roberto, and he said, no, it's Birdo. I'm like, fair enough. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I just redid all this, and it was a pain. I hate doing that stuff. <laughs> I've got to I got to finish scaping the uh, natural blue car tank. I'm probably I'm probably going to steal plants out of the rest of my other tanks and move them to that one because you really, if you think about it, we put lights on the tank. The light is for us. It's not for the fish. The fish don't give a crap about that light. Like not one bit. That light is definitely not for the fish. It's for us. However, it's for the plants. If you have plants in it, then that's fine. Like. In this room, all my tanks are lit up just for the fact of, you know, showmanship. Other than that, I don't really need a light. Dude, I know people who don't even put, like, lights on their fish tanks, and I'm like, dude, we can't see nothing. Come on. Welcome, Nico Fish. Nico. Nico Danny, Nico. I am the only person in my family that keeps fish. The only one. Uh, I take that back. My nephew has a couple of koi in an outside pond in a house he bought, but I don't think he's going to keep them. <laughs> if he does, I'll be amazed. Yeah. My grandparents and my dad got me into this, but like once I started getting really deep into it, they just quit and passed the torch on to me. I bet it can get out of hand real quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, legit. You can go from having, you know, a 10-gallon tank, like that's what I started with, to, I got a lot of tanks. 
What yeah. happened? Where did they come from? I started with a five gallon, then a 10 gallon, then a 40 gallon, then a 125, then a 135, now 240. Six tanks. You know, my least favorite footprint of a tank is a 40 gallon. Oh, like two, the two and a half foot one that's like the same height as a 125. I can't stand those. I have the just standard 40 breeder. I can't stand that tank. Hmm. I really can't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I would have preferred that over the 40 gallon I had. It was like two and a half feet long and like 24 inches tall. Severe case of MTS is uh, I currently have 57 fish tanks. Jesus. I have, I think I have 43 up and running. Just do, man, I just have, I'm just the one giant tank type of dude. Giant tank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but like people would tell me like on Facebook groups and like, my even my youtube videos like oh i'm so jealous and i look at the tanks they have they have like multiple like 75 55 and like a couple 125s and i'm like shoot you want to trade i'll take your multiple smaller tanks over this singular 240. absolutely i agree with this right here if you were watching please hit that like button please hit the subscribe button let's grow the fish community What's up, New Burn Aquatics? It's like, this is what sweat does to my hair. Man, I got to cut mine even though it doesn't look like I have a lot. It's got to go. Oh, come on. Dude, it's got to go. I peel my hair down to an eighth of an inch. That's how I run it. Yeah. I can't do it. It's too much. Yeah. I'm growing it out because old age is kicking in. He said old age. You're how old? 23? 25. Oh. I Quarter remember life I, crisis. I, I remember when I uh, was 25. Yeah. Oh, man. I had to, you know, I had the bald fade. I had the little thin lineup. You know, that was the creepy era of uh, dudes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, when my mom was growing up, all the dudes had just had their big, bushy, like, hairband style stuff. Yeah, I've never really had long hair. Never really been a fan of it. Yeah. This is the stage where I usually get, like, all annoyed and I just say, screw it. Bzzz. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you try to grow your hair out all long to your shoulders, it's in, like, that weird, awkward, like, medium stage where it's like all poofy and Jewish looking. He said Jewish looking. Well, you're Cuban. Cuban hair is kind of more coarse like a uh, Jewish hair. Yep. 25 yeah. is still young. It actually showed, like I was actually showing people at work one time like, because I always have it like slicked back and then I just start doing this and they're like, holy crap, your hair is really that long? <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. You know what, uh, Newburn? I am 42, and I, I have one one artificial hip and another on the way, so I feel your pain. Oh, God. Aquarium, animals, and me. Three chat rooms going at the same time and looking at them all. Man, that sounds got to be kind of weird. You get to hear different people talking, unless you got them all, to at least two of them muted. But thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I already feel like I need a new knee. You know, man, for the longest time, my back hurt, and I couldn't figure out why. So I go to a chiropractor, and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, your, uh, your sacrum is shifted, and you're all off balance. Your left leg is hanging down, or uh, hanging, uh, no, your right leg's lower than your left. You know, you're off even. I said, okay. He's like, well, we could fix it. So the first session that he does an adjustment, he cracks my back, and he grabs my left leg, and he does a little, uh, and then yanks. And after that, it was over with. I could barely walk. Like, my, my hip went from bad to terrible. Like, that. Yeah. That's why I'll never go to one of those. Uh-oh. We got somebody lurking in the back. We got Garcia Aquatics here. What is that, the 65? Yes, sir. No crap. Let's put you full stage. 
Let's look at that. I am liking that, baby. I was going with the wood and all that, but I changed my mind, so I decided to go with rocks instead. And it's just going to be just rocks just like that for now. And who knows what I will put for just to put over here and, and on this side. And as you can see, right up here. Absolutely. Silver Creek Aquatics, if you're here, check out your, check out your painting right up here, Tommy. Bam, bam. What up, Shamu? Gar Gar Garcia Aquatics. Thank uh, you for uh, yourself, my dude. So how's my uh how's my sound? Oh, I can hear you up? just fine. I can hear you just fine. Isn't it creepy yeah. like when I'm trying to see the screen and I'm just like <laughs> There you go, Tommy. There you go, Tommy. Right there, Tommy. Right there. Bam. Bam. I'm so blind. Does look good up there. Like you, you know guys what? are on computers, huh? I am. Yeah. So I'm going to show off tonight a little bit. Garcia, hey, well, you've, already, you've already seen it. So it no, doesn't matter. I haven't seen it. I haven't oh, seen it yet. What the hell you haven't? I haven't. What you have? We got oh, hell yeah. The first ever, the prototype. Oh, yeah, do it your my, way. That's my hobby, do it my way, baby. That's what it says that. Welcome, car. Hey, we all know that the only right way is the father fish way. No, you know what? <laughs> this is gonna, I'm gonna go out there a little bit. So, I've got the Happy Place Aquatics Facebook page, and today I got a friend request from Father Fish. So I accepted it. So we're going to see what happens there. I've never, never physically spoke to the man. I think I've watched maybe five minutes of a live stream once and I couldn't do it. It wasn't my thing. I mean, he has lots of followers. He seems like, you know, he's got the old school knowledge of doing tanks his way, which is another thing of me. Do it. It's your hobby. Do it your way. You know, so if that his way works, his way works for him. But I mean, it's not everybody's way. And I don't know. So we shall see. Yeah, he like he has a good formula for it. Like, but like the sand and the dirt, the like soil. Like, I'm not messing with that stuff. Like, it just like one you move one rock and it just murks the whole tank. Correct. Yep. I am going to um, I'm going to try it on a small scale. I'm going to do it in a five gallon aquarium, maybe a ten, and see what happens. A 20. I don't have a spare 20, and the 20 long I have, I'm probably going to take it in the backyard and I'm going to office space it. Hmm. Garcia knows why. Yeah. And even if I was allowed to have more than one tank in this house, it's just like, where would I put it? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, this is like the only place where a tank can go if it's bigger than like 40 gallons because like the big metal beam is right underneath it. And it takes up the whole space. I am on the, I'm in a, I'm in my basement, so I'm gonna do some things. Uh oh, freedom! Here we go. What do we got? We're getting a Garcia tour. Getting a little bit of tour. Sorry about the the, the backup, but this, this is how I got it right now. Oh okay. wow! I'm digging a little bit of a tour here, Garcia. Excuse the mess, but I was yeah. working on this. That's all right. Can I move in? Nice. Hey, I like that diver's helmet, bro. Where'd you get that? The owner from the uh, the Fajaca. Okay. And uh, Walter should be in, in the there he is. Ah, uh, that's that's his home, huh? Yep. And he had four crayfish. So this is my living. This is my living room. 
<laughs> hey, I see some hey. Oscars there. Hey, I want to see that Florida gar. Where he at? Well, he... There he is. I always see these tanks in the background, but I never see the fish. There's the Oscar. There's your other Oscar. There's your other Oscar. How many Oscars? You got three? Oh, shit. I'll make that four. I see the little four. one. Four. four. And, and, look at that, and look at that pair. That pair does have a hump. Dude, that's probably mixed with a Midas cichlid. That pair does got a hump. No shit. And then, and then we got the little uh common pleco. And the peak cover. Ah. Well, look at Birdo flexing the big tanks. I love them, Birdo. Yeah. It's a matter of fact, hold on. Hold on. I like it like this. Dang. 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 Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> What's in there? Uh, a bed up. Okay. And these are all famine. Okay. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Hey, Birdo. Yeah. You know that rack of whole bigger tanks, right? Oh. You could put a couple more tanks on that rack. Well, I think I'm currently in your ears, so that's okay. <laughs> she could be watching. <laughs> that's true. Uh, it is what it is. You know what, man? I've got these. Uh, I've got a, a rack from uh, Home Depot. It's a Husky rack. And 1,000 pounds per, per shelf, right? I'm like, cool. So I got a 75 on the top and a 75 on the bottom. And then I got the other half of that rack on the other side. It's got a 90 on the top and a 75 on the bottom. I'm pretty sure I am just like that from being at max capacity on these shelves. Oh, but man. you know what? They're solid. Oh, man. So, hey, Birdo, can I move in with you? Uh, uh -oh. uh, the be uh, one of the bedroom is already filled. That's the office. Hey, that's Lady Kimmy's office. I can't take that away from her. She's, let she's letting me keep all these tanks here. Nice. It's fine. I'll just bring one more. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That one. Gonna I'll bring that, that big 240? Oh, yeah. That's what we're trying to work on. 300 or 400. Wait, what? Thinking about getting a 300 or 400. Oof. I'm thinking about building a 600-gallon plywood aquarium. Ooh. You better. You mentioned it. Now you have to do it. I don't necessarily have to do it. But I could do it. So you got to think about it. I have... I now have three tanks full of South American cichlids. Four tanks, actually, if you think about it. Cause I got a tank full of severums over there too. So if we take those and put them all in a 600 gallon plywood tank, I'm, I'm golden. That frees up four tanks. Oh, Erno, messages message is for you. Yeah. He could tell you the story. I bring the shirt to Keystone class and I'm going to ask, where is B Weasel? Oh, he's in his room and my room was across from him. And, I, and for me, 
being a damn New Yorker, I was knocking on that door like I was a cop. All right, boom, 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 boom. And he goes, yeah, what do you want? I want Jimmy that P. shirt. I want that shirt, that jersey that you owe me, and I got your shirt. He opened the door, and we did a swap. <laughs> nice. Welcome, Jimmy P. Jimmy P., thank you for coming. Absolutely, thank you for coming. Hey, should I, uh, should I fill this up with uh, fancy guppies or put something else in there? Can I be honest with you? You might have to do some plants, but fancy guppies would be great. Yeah. I like a big tank of guppies. You see, you're talking to the right guy because I think that's an underrated fish in the hobby. I really do. And if you guys watch my, uh, if you watch my videos, I have a, a guppy tank that I call Gupplandia. It's nothing but guppies and a co and a uh, clown pleco. That's all that's in there. A couple of snails. It needs a breeding pair of orcas. <sighs> and yes, Jimmy P. Like you always say, Garcia's always in front of a different tank. Yes, I'm in front of another tank. <laughs> you definitely are in front of a different tank. It's actually a different view that I'm used to. And that's the one that you'll always see when I had the camera this way. Yeah, I was always looking at the wall. But now I got this. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Nice. 28 inches and 18 pounds. Damn. I'm like, are those made out of like a real fish? No, fiberglass. Oh wow! Back then, back then they used to do, they used to stuff it or whatever, and put it on clear coat and all that stuff. But now they decided just to go fiberglass and take the, uh, the measurements because they got the molds and they do the measurements with that and and then they just fill it up with the fiberglass in it. Oh wow! Do you see my Wahoo on the wall? Uh, yeah. I haven't caught. I haven't caught my Wahoo yet. My son already has like twelve under his belt, or thirteen. Who knows how many he got already under his belt? And he already caught his swordfish. And I caught my sailfish already. That's why I got the tattoo. I'm waiting for. Uh, I'm waiting for my paintings to arrive. I look like a weirdo doing this because I'm like looking at my little phone. <laughs> what happened to your elbow, Berto? Uh, it's a long story. Was it from the other night when you were a little inebriated? No, no, no. All right, then. That's all I need to say. No, no. I just have a little problem. Uh, me too. And, so, I, and I've just put in different, I've been putting some, some cream, but today I didn't put it because I said, if I'm going to be working on the tanks, you I don't, don't need no that cream. in the tank. I don't need that in the tank, and I don't want to see no fish. Hey, whoop. Hey, whoop. <laughs> so what did you think of that bird, uh, that video I put out a few minutes ago, Birdo, the one you commented on? It, it hurts. It does. It hurts. That's that's a uh, that's the side of the hobby nobody sees. Yeah, that's the problem, because nobody wants to show, oh, I lost this fish. They just say, oh, I lost this fish. Oh, I lost that fish. They don't want to show it. But yes, I know that uh, YouTube don't let you show it, but you can blare it out. You can blare yeah. it. But people would rather not show it. Yeah. I post a picture sometimes. I uh, I'm going I'm going the clear and transparent way. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing no more. You know I've. Uh, I've taken some some insight from a few people. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and you know be that guy, but I'm gonna be that guy if that makes sense. Everybody is they sugarcoat too much. You know I, I go back to the the two Oscars and a 55 or three Oscars and a 55 on an FX6. Well, you only got to change the water or you know clean the filter every now and then. Man, you got to do a water change on an Oscar tank. Oscars will, I mean, will get hole in the head from water, poor water quality. It's a fact. And that is the most common thing that I see in this hobby with Oscars. 
you know, you have the, the, the normal people who keep Oscars and they do a great job. And then you have other people that just, oh, well, I'm just going to let it go. It's got an FX6 on it. It'll be fine. I'll clean it in six months. I don't care how long you have that FX6 running. You still got to clean that thing. And six months is too long to go on a filter to be clean. I do mine probably. I've yet to clean my FX6. I'm going to be honest. It's been running for two months now on a 300 gallon pond. But I also want, I have another filter in there that I've cleaned twice since I put that on. I have a uh, Sun Sun 403 with the UV filter in it. I mean, up until recently, that thing was doing flawless. And then all of a sudden, you just couldn't keep up with the load anymore. I'm actually going to replace my Aquatop CF500 UV Mark II with an FX6 in the upcoming months or so. An FX6 is a good filter. However, run them both for a minute. Let that other one run until that, that FX6 builds up. Is that a moss ball? No, topic grass. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see good. that. I see that getting caught in that wave maker, bro. I did that on purpose. <laughs> uh oh, it's blowing around. Yeah, I was also gonna like. People like, don't. I see a boo boo. I got see a boo boo, and everybody's having fun watching car shield do that. Hole in the head is, it's easily avoidable. It is. I mean, literally, it's easily avoidable. It is a, it's it's just, I, I'm going to, for lack of better terms, it's shit water quality. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Everybody's having fun watching Garcia doing this. A guppy grass storm. Whoa. <laughs> I've never used, uh, never used that before. I have, uh, I've never had the. The honor of, I'm not even going to say honor, I've never had the hole in the head in any of my fish. Yeah. I mean, I literally, I am doing water changes more often than most people do. I have, a, you know, I with the amount of tanks, I have to rotate. So my, my two Oscar tanks right here, 50% every Sunday. I have my... Uh, my hybrid cichlids over here on the bottom, and I have my uh, embonas on the top in a 90. Every two weeks, 50% water change. My 125s over here, 30% water change every two weeks. 50% on a 240 once a month. And I just did it today. Yeah. Yeah, I do 40% every two weeks. And every time I have to do a water change on this thing, I hate my life. <laughs> oh, God. You know I, so I have a pump. Like I told Bert, I me and Berto had a conversation earlier. I have a pump that I use to clean my pool. Oh, he did. Stop lying. Berto, shut up. <laughs> oh. He told me off, y'all. I told you to be quiet. Hold on. Drama, let me get the popcorn. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a uh, 3,800 gallon an hour pump. I dropped it into my uh, my 300 gallon goldfish pond when that fish died. I mean, I dropped it down to 100 gallons, dude, like that. I mean, quick. It's rained it in less than five minutes. Well, the hardest part was filling that bag up. That took an hour. <sighs> So, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And I've noticed once you do a large water change on most of these tanks, your fish, if they're, you know, a breeding pair, they breed. They just get at it. In your guys' opinion, should I pick out the, uh, the wave maker? I don't think you're going to need a wave maker with guppies. Yeah, that might blow them all over the place. And guppies are going to, they're going to have a hard time swimming. I'm not a guppy expert by any means, but mine are running on sponge filters. Guys in the chat, should I take off the wave maker or leave it? I would take it off. Guppies. I'd take it off. 
How many gallon per hour is it? I don't know. I just got it, boom, put it on. That was it. I didn't even look at it. <laughs> we got Danny over here doing uh doing a large water change. Hmm. The babies will get caught in the wave maker. No on the wave maker. Thank you. I, that's why I love the chat. And my host. And the people that's on the panel also. Abby Quasa Colotics said no wave maker. Samuel Aquatics said no wave maker. Ada Wave Maker even said no wave maker. Okay, so no wave maker. I'll take that out tomorrow. You know what you would have, man? And if I you got, leave that wave maker oh, in there, you're gonna have guppy soup. And guess what? What? Garcia was not wearing his seatbelt. Why? I got busted. Oh, you got to take it. Yep. But you know, and I didn't have my uh, my registration on the card. I told I told the, I told the cop says, "Oh, I left it in in my uh, in my other wallet," and he goes, "Okay, this is just a warning, but you go to the courthouse, just pay ten dollars, and you show your registration, and you're clear, and there's no points on your license." All right, it's no problem. And he goes, "You know where you see bottles? Oh, you don't see it? I'm wearing it now." <laughs> <laughs> Is that when I was in a car accident? It, it got me real bad. Damn. You hate it hurt my chest real bad. Why you hate twelve? That's a valid question. I'd like to know that. I got yeah. eight speeding tickets. <laughs> I think it's been it's been twenty years since I've had a ticket. Knock on wood. Damn. Yeah. Uh, car we always call police one time, 5 0. Pigs, narcs. But there may be an age difference. I don't know. As the, the, the new generation, they got the, uh, the new different codes. We call it 5 0, pigs. One time. One yeah. time up in there, I swear. Hey, it's a, uh, I had I used to have a shirt, man. It had the Warner Brothers emblem on it. So if you see the police, you better Warner Brother. Oh, I used to rock that all the time. Dude, I tell all my friends, like, I've never had a problem with cops. And then they just tell me, like, look at you, dude. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Because, <laughs> like, 90% of my friends are Mexican. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but. I'm not white, so. <laughs> He's not white. He is white. He looks white to me. Did you guys ever see the video of how I, I trolled a racist trolling. person? Yeah. <laughs> Guy starts talking crap on Latinos, and I'm just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hand him his receipt. Gracias, tenga buen día. Turn to the Latino family behind him. Hola, como están? Quieren bolsas? Este cabrón le gusta... Dormir con su hermana. <laughs> that guy's face oh. is priceless. I like this setup now. I like this setup. Berto. Yeah. I put one of the, I put one of the new Sun Suns in action. Oh yeah. Yeah. Working good. Oh, uh, so far. <laughs> I think I think that and the uh Two sponge filters on a power head and the other two on an air stone or on air, I think it's gonna be uh gonna be an over filtered tank. Yeah, but hey, happy blaze. Do you think it would work if like because I've done it this way in the past when changing filters, like I just take all the media out of the old one and put it in the new one, boom, plug it in. You can. Yeah, it still sketches me out, but like nothing's ever happened. Knock on wood. <laughs> Is that the only filter you have running on that tank? Oh no, there's an Eheim twenty two fifteen right here. 
what I would do is I would start the FX six. I'd let all three of them run until you get about, I don't know, a month and a half in and then disconnect the one you want and throw the media in it. Yep. That's probably what I might do. All yeah, right. So here, but here's a fits. good question. Here's a good, good topic for right now. Hang on the back or canister. So it depends on what tank I'm running. I have a, I have two saltwater tanks that are running on hang on the backs. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight running on canisters, and everything else is all running on sponge filters. I prefer sponge filters. They're low maintenance. They're easier to handle. Uh, they're good for beneficial bacteria. They're ugly. They are ugly. <laughs> but you know what? They work fantastic. This one got a handbag. What do you got on it? Uh, one of those bio wheels. The uh, uh, Marine yeah. Land bio wheel. Yeah, and this is and if it even this one is a uh, fucking uh, uh this is uh, a <laughs> uh oh a Marine. Oh, Land. I heard that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for dropping that beautiful word on my uh, live stream. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Then on my 150 over here with the Oscars, I got a. I got an FX4 and my other 150 with an FX4. And the Fajaka got a, a Freeman 407 and an FX4. Damn. Canisters all the way if it's a tank over 40 gallons. So, oh, man. Oh Jesus! Let me go feed these guys. I forgot to feed that. I fed everybody. I forgot the. I forgot the fructosis. There yeah. he goes. Sponge all the way. Yep. Like my biggest regret when I had that forty-six gallon bow front with those two electric blue jack Dempseys. I should have used a canister. It had two HOBs, and I'm just like, mm. it was terrible. <laughs> Especially no, once they a... got it to six inches. I've got a. Uh... What is that thing? The ones that are on my uh, 55 gallon saltwater tanks, they don't even have any of the original media that's in them. I've changed it over. They got bio wheels, bio balls, and sponge in them. Everybody says, oh, you can't run sponge in a saltwater tank. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You can put sponge in a saltwater tank. I have three of them that's running with sponges in them. It's not the, it's not that style sponge filter that I just showed. It's just the, the, the filter pad and the hang on the back. Um, but the one upstairs that I have has an all in one with a pump in the back. It's a 33 or 33 and a half gallon flu ball flex. It's an all in one. And I mean, I think it's fantastic. And I know I a lot of people say this, but is it expensive? Is it a lot of work for what salt water? Yeah. All right. So it depends on how you're doing. I have fish only. I don't have any coral. I don't have any. I mean, I don't have nothing like that. I, I have live rock. I have. Uh, that's basically it. So I got this question here. And I'll answer that in one second. But it depends on how you want to do it. You can make it as expensive as you want or you can make it as basic as you want. It's kind of like fresh water, except for you just got to get the salinity right. You got to make sure you keep the, the water to right temperature for the fish, blah, 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 so on and so forth. It's basically like fresh water, except for you're playing with salt. Uh, I know they say you should have a protein skimmer and you shouldn't use tap water. You should use RO water. I think there's something about tap water over time. It turns toxic. Uh, Vibes, he's been doing that. He's been using tap water. Me too. Water. And they've been doing fine. Yeah, uh, I've heard that. I haven't experienced it yet. Um, as far as my saltwater tanks, I have uh, my 33 and a half gallon Fuval has four hermit crabs and one clownfish. Uh, my 155 has six yellow tailed damsels and I think like three or four hermit crabs in that one. My other one has uh, Bangai cardinal fish and that's it. I technically could put all of these in one tank. I'm not going to, but technically I can. 
Um, I don't have to worry about the damsels picking on anybody because the damsels are only going to kick the shit out of damsels. Uh, the clownfish by itself is fine, and the Bangai cardinal fish are pretty peaceful, except for they attacked my. I had an anemone at one point in time in my one, and they basically he basically destroyed it. Oh wow! So that's why I try to stick to salt water or the smaller end of salt water. You know, I seen this. I seen a, a squirrel fish. If you ever seen a squirrel fish, they got big eyes, but they're a gorgeous fish. And uh, I was going to get one. Eh, huh? They're dangerous. They're they're predatory fish. Just by their gill, they have another they have another gill plate. Yeah. Slice your fingers. Yes. Um. So I was I'm like, nah. You know what? I'm just going to keep it simple. I like clownfish. I always have. Um, I, Birdo, I, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm going to do? We've talked about the saltwater fish I'm going to get. It's coming. I love tangs. Oh, dude. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Deuce Bigelow? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The fish that went in the blender. Ah, yep. That's my next fish. Oh, yeah. I'd never stick my hands in that tank. Um, well, so here's here's my problem. I'm not gonna stick my hand in it per se. Let's see if I can get this out. I'll have enough distance between me and it. <laughs> God. <laughs> never have to touch the water. That is a three foot python too. I use it for this. I'll be over there tomorrow to pick it up. What the three foot python too? Yeah. Uh I got it for twenty four bucks on Amazon. Oh. Ouch. I had to. It's I'm not trying to climb in that. I'm not trying to climb in that tank. Uh I just redid this and it was a pain. So from the top of that tank to my ceiling, I have like twelve and a half inches. So for me to climb physically climb up there is going to be damn near impossible. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude said his clownfish bites. Really? Oh, yeah. That was an angelfish that would bite. What's up, baby? I had an angelfish that would bite. <laughs> hey, young lady. I hope you can hear me. Hey! What's going on? What's cracking? <laughs> Nothing. Got to go to the store to get some papers. Get the papers. Got to get the papers. Got to get the papers. Get the papers. <laughs> Mrs. Happy Place. That is Mrs. Happy Place. So what do you think about my setup in my living room? I like it. I'm jealous. You know what, man? I got those 275. Did I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shamu don't know about that. I got two more 75s. What did I miss? <laughs> it's like so I got I dozens go, of notifications a day. It's like, ah, oh, man, did something get buried that I didn't see? I go to, uh, I was at work, I don't know, it was last week, week before. Week before, my local fish store owner texted me. He's like, hey, are you going to come pick these fish up you ordered? I said, I didn't order any fish. I already got the fish I ordered. He's like, I've had them here for, for like a month. Come get your fish. I'm like, bro, I didn't order any fish. He's like, yeah, 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 you did. And I'm like, all right, I remember the five fish you told me to come pick up, but I told you I'd get them when I had time. I go to his fish, I go to his, his warehouse. I was went there intentionally to get five fish. I came home with 45 fish. God. I'm Damn. like, come on, dude, I didn't order these. I told him, I'm like, I didn't order none of these. Huh. You did and take them. I took them. I've got uh, I got Lake Victorians now. In the smaller oh, tanks, damn. In the smaller tanks, I got um, batters, betas, calabetos, little betas. They're beta fish, man. Little beta fish. You got to say it like a proper white guy. Beta fish, bro. <laughs> uh, my cousin, my cousin, he breeds betas, and he brought me a whole bunch of them. He just 
took them all out, and he says, you can put it together, don't worry, they're family. Sooner or later, when they get bigger, I, I got to start separating. Oh, yeah. So I bought three of them that were from the same batch, right? And I had them in a 29-gallon tank. It was a it was a decently heavily planted tank. That's my purple uh, clown puke one, the one with all the plants in it. They were yeah. fine for, I mean, they were fine for probably four or five months. And then I come down and I had one, I, she was red. I named her Strawberry. She was tore all to hell. So I take her out and I throw her in my 55-gallon Tetra tank. She healed up beautifully. So I left the other two alone. I come down the other one. It was another red one, but it was a darker red one. Its name was Raspberry. That fish was shredded, dude. could barely swim. I'm like, what the hell? So I put her in another tank. I put her in a 10-gallon quarantine tank, and I was treating her for, you know, because she was tore up bad. I mean, bad. She survived. I put her in another tank, and she did great. So I look at the other fish, and I'm like, who tore you up? And I'm, I'm looking at the other bed, and the other bed is tore up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they just kicked the crap out of each other. So... The other one was blue. It was blueberry, and it ended up living its life out in that 29-gallon. And uh, I moved the one from the 55 into a 25 tall, and the other one into another 29 I have, and they were all happy, and they all just, you know, eventually passed. Oh, man. Shamu, you are frozen, my friend. Am I? You are frozen. Me and Garcia me? are perfect, but you are stuck. Me. Turn on Wi-Fi real quick. I'm on my there data. All right. <laughs> Dude, I have fish in here that I wasn't even supposed to have. <laughs> I've seen you went and picked up a bunch more of uh, rose line sharks or whatever. Oh, yeah. are. Yep. And uh, what happened is like the last batch of five that I got, they were supposed to be a surprise for a local fish store owner who has a big yeah. tank. And then like I saw how big they were and I'm like, oh, I'm keeping these. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of them's like freaking like six and a half inches long and i'm like oh i never see them that big that's mine i'm down to three um siamese algae eaters hmm. yeah five of those my uh my oscar was swimming around with another one in his mouth <sighs> yeah that's oscars for you bro he's a uh monster man Oh, yeah. And, I mean, he saw uh, the ones I got left are they're that long. Damn. Well, the largest fish I have is going to be, it'll swim back over here in a minute. Come on, big boy. Get over here. It's a uh, tiger Oscar. Here, I'll pull it up to where it can be. It'll be. I got it right there. What is he, like a foot? Uh, close. Yeah. Close. Yeah. And in mine, is just the uh, the big Oscars that I got. That's all I got. And the car. I was going to say, your car is probably the biggest. Yeah. <laughs> My largest is like a six and a half inch rose line. But it's not the biggest fish I've ever had. I've had a foot long pleco before. I got rid of two of them. I had a, um, had like a, I'm going to say a cookie and cream um, sailfin. And then I had a common pleco that was just a monster, dude. He was like that. Oh, yeah. He was, he was pushing two feet. And every time I go to Florida and I see those two foot plecos everywhere, I just want to take one home so bad. <laughs> And you'd have fish missing in that tank. Oh yeah. You know, I thought yeah. I thought my Oscar Daisy was going to be the biggest one I'd have. She just stopped growing. So apparently she's done. And the other one I got down here, he's that big. Like I have an African cichlid that's almost his size. Oh, and damn. Yeah, I've seen some pretty big ass uh, peacock cichlids before. It's crazy how big they really can get. What's going on, collab? 
Eight, nine inches. Hey, hey, Adele. 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 Collab. Eventually, at some point in time, my uh, Jaguar is going to be the biggest one I have. Oh, yeah. Right now, it's probably the size of my cell phone. Man, I got it. I gotta say that fish got its it got its ass whooped. It had scales missing. You could see, I mean, you could see the pink meat. It was bad. Oh, the jaguar. I had two jaguar. Yeah, I had two of them in the same tank. Oof. And it was just it was temporary, and so I got another tank set up. Well, the other tank that I got set, I couldn't get set up in time, so I had to grab it and throw it in another fifty-five. I had moved the fish from the fifty-five into a different tank, and. I'm like, I don't know if this fish is going to heal. Man, that fish came back stronger and prettier. Oh, damn. I mean, that, that jag has got some some size on it now. Yeah, oh, Adele, that fish was tore up. Yeah, they'll mess each other up pretty good. Like, I, I have got a friend. Hmm? I got a video on it. Oh, damn. Oh, man, it's almost WrestleMania uh, Part 2 time. Oh, yeah. What time is it? Yeah, we got like five minutes. Like five minutes. Yeah. Oh, guys, Garcia is here. He just wants to say this. Jimbo, Shamu, thank you for having me here and letting me show you my disaster zone. But if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to these guys. Because you never know when they're going to go live or when they drop on the video. So go ahead, show the support, and show the love. It's the same way you're doing with Garcia, but don't worry about me. But even though I'm still working on some videos and other stuff, but I'm trying to organize everything first, and everything's going to come along. And stay tuned. And Garcia's going to be probably, probably going live at 8 or a little later than 8. But we'll see. And uh, Jimbo, thank you for having me here. Garcia, you are always welcome. Even though I'm annoying. You're not annoying. No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so here's my thing, Garcia. I may I may not make it to yours. I'm, I may, may not. I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to watch that wrestling event just for the fact that I want to see Roman Reigns lose that belt. Yep think it's going to happen no however i was uh shocked last night when sammy took the belt from uh gunther oh yeah i was shocked it, on it, that one it's been it, it's been a long wait for him 666 day title reign like they ended it at the perfect time uh yeah i believe he's i think seth is probably going to drop the belt to drew tonight yep and i believe it's going to end up being drew and Gunther going for the heavyweight championship. That's my prediction. And yep. when you think about the uh, the uh, uh, that group, the Bloodline. No, the other group, Imperium. No, Judgment Day. Uh, the Judgment Day having uh, Drew in their in their corner. Yeah, that's. That ain't that didn't last very long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they dropped the judgment or the judgment day dropped the uh tag titles last night. So yeah. we now have two. They split the belts, which is great. That needed to be done. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> but so we'll see. Yeah. I wish the Undertaker didn't retire. Well, dude, he's like 800 yeah. years old. He should have retired. But, dude, but Triple H retiring hurt even more. Well, Triple H can't wrestle anymore. Yep. But they should have had let Brock Lesnar break the streak. They should have let somebody else. Yeah. Kane or Bray Wyatt. Because after he broke this, uh, the streak, and he's just a, a, a freaking uh, a part-timer. Yeah. Yeah. He's in no timer now. Yeah. He's all caught up in that scandal with Vince McMahon. It's it's terrible for him. Yep. You know the fun thing though? I could actually live stream and sit here and watch WrestleMania. 
I got a 55 inch TV right here. <laughs> do, do, do. I see? need my phone to watch it. Oh, let's see. Maybe to play. We'll see how it works. Yeah. It's on beat. So. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Got three minutes left. It's whatever if I miss the first. Well, actually, yeah, I should probably start putting it on soon. I need my phone to play. I need my phone to stream it. Well, have at it, my friend. But yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Thanks for the support, Garcia. Thanks for streaming for us. Happy place. Absolutely. See you guys in the next stream. I'll try to make it next weekend too. Every Sunday, baby. Oh yeah. That's right. Yep. All right, guys. I'll see you. Sorry, Jimbo. Oh, don't leave me, Garcia. Garcia has to stay. Garcia, you got to stay, man. Do I need to call? Do I need to call Lady Shimmy Shimmy? Sure. You know what she's gonna tell you? I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, What's for dinner? Ribeyes. Oh, let's do it like this, guys. Thanks for coming by. If you haven't liked and subscribed, (laughs) you should do that. Uh Check out Garcia Aquatics. Check out Shamu Aquatics. Never know when these two fools are going to drop a video. Guys, I appreciate you being here. And as always, it's your hobby. Do it your way. You got to say anything, Birdo? Yeah. Thank you for having me here, and have a great one, guys. Have at it, Shamu. Thanks. Have a good one, y'all. Good night, everybody. All right.